We're going to go now to Adam Reif. He's live. He's been in the Northridge area all morning long. He has another update for us from, uh, from that area. Right, Northridge here. We're on Madrid on Dixie. It's going to be a multi-day effort to repair all of this damage, not just for the severity of it, but the volume. This car, a direct hit from the pine tree, and as we zoom in on that, this entire street, Madrid, on the west side of Dixie, severely damaged by this storm, a branch down on this car. This is the least of the concerns so far. Power is out as we walk down the road, but as Darren turns and shoots straight down the road to where our car lights have lit it up, you can see we've got down power poles, we've got down trees, neighbors out in the yard, which frankly, not sure if that's the best idea right now because we stopped our cars where we saw wires across the street. Yes, the power is down, but we were told just a week ago after that tornado in Huber Heights, treat every wire as if it is live until you're sure it's not told by an authority that it's not. What's going to make this difficult tonight in the next several hours is the darkness. It's hard to see where down power lines are. As Darren gets some shots of the tree damage, every single one of these houses has tree damage, and it gets a lot worse further down. That blue car there on the right side, neighbors out in the yard, but if you look closely, it looks like some of the lines are going down the yard as well. So the power outages, tens of thousands all throughout the area, are because much of these power poles have been snapped right off. Now, we're not sure if these were blown down, if they're bad wood and fell after a strong wind, or if something serious hit it, but there are a lot of serious wires. Darren, careful on your left here. One step to your left, stop right there. Those wires, we're not sure if they're live, and we're sure as heck not going to find out. As Darren points over to this neighborhood watch sign, that blue sign completely snapped off of that pole right above it, appearing to be that power pole in the left side of the street. More cables here on your right, Darren. We're staying about two feet wide of them, and I'm going to stop right up here because there's another one across the road. But this is what people are dealing with as they start to come out and assess the damage. We don't have power to see. We don't have street lights on this street on Madrid. The street lights are out. And you see that one here, Darren. I'm going to point right at that one. All the leaves, all the branches off of that tree completely snapped. Difficult to see in the dark, but a lot of damage here in the North Ridge area. Another power pole stuck up in this tree on the left side. Difficult to see where they're coming from. It reminds me of the family we talked to a few minutes ago who said they had power lines pinned to their roof by downed trees. As we heard, I'm going to say it again, the Huber Heights Fire Department told us a week ago, stay where you know it is safe. Don't go outside unless you know it's okay because we've got branches that are dangling. Those could fall. You've got power lines in the road. It's black and difficult to see out here right now. And you've also got some poles that may be wavering and could snap. So this area of Madrid, on Madrid, on South Dix, North Dixie, pardon me, is one that's been seriously hit in the Northridge area. We're going to keep talking to people as best we can, but frankly, I don't want to cross any of these power Power lines until we know they're safe. We'll send it back to you guys. Well, that's that's the thing because we we keep reporting about all these power outages and people yeah. assume those lines are dead. They may not mm -hmm. be. You yeah. you just cannot make that assumption at this time. And Adam, it looks like a lot of this area is just completely inaccessible. Are you getting any kind of idea how rescuers kind of what their system is to get to people? What they're doing to get to these areas? That's the difficult thing to say right now, Lauren, because it's hard to find an emergency worker that has some spare time. They've got a lot of problem areas, as we've been talking about, not just the storm path, but also those outages and live wires keeping people safe. So difficult to find somebody and actually get a hold of what this operation looks like. Every police car that I've seen is blocking off a road right now and turning people away. North Dixie especially, right here on Madrid, is about the furthest south we can go before Dixie is blocked off again. I talked to somebody, a man who was walking up about 10 minutes before we came on the air for this hit, and he said he was at work. The boss came in, told everybody, get to the basement and hit the deck. When they came out after that storm had passed, the subway, he said, was leveled. Uh, pardon me, the speedway was leveled and the UDF gas station was leveled. That's probably down in that area of Wagner Ford where we tried to get to in the first place. Now, again, I can't confirm that. We haven't had photographers there to see it ourselves, but that does match up with those damage areas that we've been talking about, and that's where police are preventing us from getting to, understandably. So that area of Northridge, as we get south and south, south on Dixie seems to be a huge problem area. But to answer your question, no, in this area, not seeing a lot of emergency workers, though we are hearing sirens and seeing ambulances go back and forth. Adam, finally, if we could, let's for, for folks maybe just now tuning in and getting trying to get up to speed with what has happened here tonight. 
reflect back to your earlier report, your first live report up on I-75, mm -hmm. I thought was absolutely amazing. Some of the scene yeah. you were describing there is some of the debris, but the fact that they were using snow plows <laughs> in late May to, to clear storm debris from Interstate 75, that's just, not only is that an amazing image to me, but of course, thinking back just a couple of days ago, we had the rally at Courthouse Square and those snow plows were being used for a completely different purpose. Who would have thought that snow plows in Dayton, Ohio would, would get so much use in late May? That was the shocking image to me as I first got on the road to see all of that sheet metal just blown across. We see these images in the plain states in Tornado Alley. Brian and Carly have been talking about Oklahoma and Texas all throughout the night. We don't see these kinds of images often in Ohio, but I saw metal wrapped around those light poles. I saw so much debris on a state highway that had somehow jumped those barriers and landed in the lanes of traffic that those snow plows have been called in. Not one, but a dozen or so, one after another trying to work that off to the side and of course it did shut down southbound 75 for a while and funnel cars off single file a few at a time onto Wagner Ford in the safer areas but again that ramp was blocked by damaged and disabled cars it had to be towed off one of them we showed just being dragged with a chain by a tow truck because they already had a disabled vehicle up on the bed of the truck so it was a very stark image for me to first see a four-wheel trailer had been thrown onto the road a semi seemingly some some shrapnel uh, metal had been thrown on what looked like the bumper of some sort of vehicle it's difficult right now to know where that even came from i think to some of those dollar bills stamped with the follow george stamp and you could track where they've been throughout the country we have no way of knowing where that debris has come from because this storm started in indiana hours away and has been tracking all evening long. We see it hit 75 and move right along. Who knows how much debris has been carried even further east. So that little snapshot of 75 showed me a lot that there was some really heavy damage and a lot of heavy metal that had brought there and probably a whole lot more carried even further.